in case you are new here, this is actually a continuation of a video I did recently. And in that video, I talked about the relationship between the size of cable and the electrical load it supplies power to. Is there any correlation between the size of cable that is connected to a load and the amount of current that goes to that particular load? If you want to get insight about this topic, kindly look just below the video you are watching and then you get access to that video. Well, if you have four millimeter squared cables in excess, provided that size of cable can easily terminate into your lamp, and then it will not restrict the operation of the lamp, you can use it and it will not do any harm to your lamp. As you can see, this is four millimeter squared cable. I could connect it to my lamp. And so if I supply power to this lamp, you will see it working just as it should. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Okay, so here, this is four millimeter squared cable. I'll use this switch so that I can easily take the measurement. So you see, though it's four mm, it could easily enter into the switch. So if I can terminate it into the switch, and I can terminate it to my lamp holder. There is no law that is against that. All right, so what I've done is that I use this big cable to connect the supply to the switch, and then I use this 4mm wire to connect from the switch to the lamp. Okay, so first of all, set the meter for arms reading. This one goes here, and then this one comes here. Okay, so here we have 62.7 milliamps. It, it's not stable, so it ranges between 62 to 64 milliamps. 62 to 64 milliamps, which is about 0 0.062 to 0 0.064. Okay, so now I'll remove these big wires and then use the 1.5 wires. Okay, so even before we take any measurement, comparatively, you can see that the brightness of the light is just the same as the first one. Now, I have 1.5 wires for the wiring. And so, let's take the measurement again, and then we see if there is any significant difference to mean that the bigger cable was sending more current to the lamp than this smaller one, here and here. All right, so here we are, just between 62 and 64, as we saw previously. All right, so this is just enough to let you understand that the size of cable does not play any role in the amount of current that goes to the load. It is the amount of current that the load needs to work that is pulled through the cables or the wires. And so it is very important to use a cable size that will be able to carry that current safely to the load. I'm also here to talk about the cable size for various electrical circuits and how you can identify different sizes of electrical cables. And I'm going to talk about these topics in the next video. And so I will end this particular one here and continue in the video that comes after this one. Stay connected and do well to subscribe in case you are new and expect more educative videos like this. Well, if you enjoy watching my videos, share with others to also benefit. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.